Good day everyone, this is Bonnie Batanes once again. Today we are going to make the classic Filipino bread which is pandekoko. So for the filling, I'm using the fresh coconut but you can use desiccated coconut. So first we're going to cook the filling. It's very simple, we scrape the coconut meat, cook it with brown sugar with a little bit of water until it is softened. So as usual, the recipe will be written on the description box below. And while that's cooking, I prepared my bread dough. So for this recipe, I am using my white loaf bread recipe. I will put the link on the description box below so you can have a look if you want to try and make it. And um, so this one, we're going to cook it until it, the sauce thickens. So once we achieve this consistency, you want to stop cooking. So for me, I want to have a little bit of sauce in my filling. So that's done. And now we're going to um, prepare our bread dough and we're ready to put the filling. So while I'm portioning the bread dough, I want to thank you all for joining me and um, I hope that you'll try to make it at home and let me know how it goes and if you have any question please leave a comment on the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video so the filling is done and it's cooling down a little bit and now I'm going to portion my bread dough so every time I do this I just eyeball it because it's just for home um, use but if you're going to uh, use it for business um, by all means use your weighing scale so I am done portioning my bread dough and we're ready to assemble our pandekoko so I'm using the rolling pin to um, flatten my and spread my my uh, bread dough but you can use your hand if you don't have the rolling pin you just stretch it a little bit until you get to the size that you want and then let's just scoop a little bit of the filling and then we'll try to seal it as much as possible how I do it so this is the last piece and then after that we're going to let it um, rest for at least 30 to 45 minutes And then we're going to um, use the fork to make some holes so the steam um, can come out and your bread doesn't burst. And then we're going to brush it with egg wash and then it's ready for baking. So we're going to bake it on a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. But depending on your oven, you might want to check on it. And once you get that um, golden brown color, um, it's more or less ready, depending on the size of your um, pandekoko as well. So that's done. Thank you for joining me once again. I hope to see you on my next videos. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.